Well, we all know that we are returning to a very different world than the one we sailed out of Halifax Harbor six months ago. I can't tell you how great it is to be back on Canadian soil after 141 days on that ship. When we departed in January, none of us knew the challenges that we would be facing overseas on Operation Reassurance, as well as for everyone back here at home. This deployment was a first for many members of the ship's company, but even for those salty sailors among us, it was a challenging one. COVID-19 affected our allies and every port of call which we made. It limited our ability for our sailors to take a break from the operation and it made leave travel home for a short period in the middle of the deployment impossible. The decisions to restrict leave in this way were not taken lightly, but were made in the absolute interest of preserving the health of our sailors, maintaining Fredericton's operational capability, and limiting potential exposure of COVID-19 to family members. The loss of our shipmates in the crash of Stalker had a profound impact on all of us. To the families, friends and loved ones of Captain Brendan McDonald, Captain Kevin Hagen, Captain Maxime Miron Morin, Master Corporal Matthew Cousins, Sub Lieutenant Matthew Pike, and Sub Lieutenant Abigail Cobra. On behalf of the entire ship's company, I express my deepest condolences and sympathies for your loss. The loss of this outstanding group of sailors and aviators was felt by every single one of us on board every day and has left a space in our hearts that will remain there for all of our days. The decision for Fredericton to remain on mission, both in spite of the challenges we face fighting COVID-19 and dealing with the loss of our shipmates might have seemed like a difficult one to make and one that some might not have been able to understand. Fredericton was deployed as part of the rapid reaction force that stood at the ready to execute Canadian Armed Forces and NATO missions in the European theater of operations to demonstrate our commitment to our allies. Our role in Operation Reassurance was vital and our ship's company displayed tremendous resilience, a positive attitude and commitment to that mission. We would not have been able to complete our mission without the incredible support of our loved ones back home, all Nova Scotians, and right across the country. We received so many care packages, cards from across our nation that they literally covered the bulkheads, the walls in the ship. On behalf of the entire ship's company, I'd like to share our gratitude for all of these well wishes, care packages and notes that reminded us that there were so many people back home standing behind us while we were doing the business overseas. To our families, thank you for your support and for the sacrifices that you have made to enable us to complete our task. Being a sailor and leaving home for a long period of time is never easy, but it is certainly harder on those that we leave behind. It was Fredericton's time to be deployed. 
with the love and support of our family, we succeeded in our mission and we're now home for a rest. I'd like to close by thanking the amazing group of officers, senior NCOs and sailors that make up the best ships company in the fleet. Ladies and gentlemen, despite immense challenges, both physical and mental, your resilience and commitment was steadfast, and you got it done. Bravo Zulu. Enjoy your reunion with your families very shortly. Mm -hmm.